Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Wednesday, April 6, 2016. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Pro figure competitors heading down to the Orlando Europa Pro should listen up and take notice because Megan Olson is headed your way. This week, the third year pro released her latest set of progress photos three weeks out from making her season debut. And I think it's a safe bet to say that we're about to get the best version of Megan Olsen we've seen to date. At the moment, Olsen looks sharper and rounder than she did at this point last year, which should be a very scary thought considering that the third year pro has yet to place outside of the top 10 in any professional contest. If she just cruises right into the show looking like she does now, I think a top five placing is certainly in her future. Becoming the first woman from the UK to ever win your pro card certainly isn't a walk in the park, but newly minted IFBB women's physique pro Carly Thornton sure is making it look easy. Over the weekend, last year's inaugural UK Women's Physique Champion released some progress photos from her first official pro contest prep and looks to be well on her way towards making a real impact from day one. Over the last few years, Thornton has really put in some serious work, transforming from one of the UK's top figure competitors into the benchmark for an entire nation of aspiring female physique athletes. And with a work ethic like that, it's hard to imagine her bringing in anything but her best, which has been pretty darn good so far. Coming off a strong season that included top five finishes at the Arnold Classic and the Olympia, perennial 212 powerhouse Eduardo Correa is back in action. Recently, footage leaked from the Correa camp showing off some recent training sessions where we see the six-time Olympian putting in the sort of work that's turned him into one of the most consistent athletes in the sport over the last eight years. By all accounts, Correa is firing on all cylinders, and perhaps more importantly, he's injury-free, as he gears up to make another push towards capturing that 212 Olympia title that's managed to elude him for so long. At the top of his game, I'm not sure if anyone in the 212 division or otherwise gets more shredded than Correa. But with so much depth and quality at the top of the division, it'll be interesting to see if he has enough in the tank to leapfrog the three or four athletes in front of him to really give Flex Lewis a push come Olympia time. And speaking of Flex Lewis, in the brief history of the 212 division, there's exactly one man who has ever managed to hold on to the title for four straight seasons. And that man is none other than the Welsh Dragon himself. Late last week, new footage leaked out of the Lewis camp, showing the four-time champ looking absolutely monstrous in the middle of another tough off-season shoulder training session. Despite maybe showing a few chinks in the armor over the last few seasons, the fact remains that up to this point, Lewis has remained relatively unchallenged on the Olympia stage and has a legitimate chance to sail right past Haney and Coleman's benchmark record of eight straight Olympias. And at just 32 years old, another four titles seems entirely in the realm of possibility. If there's one athlete riding a big enough wave to possibly put a damper on Flex Lewis's record-breaking title hopes, at least in this very moment, you'd have to bet your money on Hide Yamagishi. A few weeks removed from earning his signature win on his career back at the Arnold Classic, Yamagishi seems to have taken full advantage of his post-show rebound. Last weekend, Hide made his way out to guest pose at the Upper Midwest Cup, where he took the stage looking every bit of a lean and mean 230 pounds. For years, Hide had been on the cusp of pulling off one of those confidence-boosting, legacy-defining wins. And now that he's finally got one under his belt, it'll be interesting to see what sort of confidence booster this proved to be later in the year heading into his Olympia prep, and if a little bit of that championship swagger can push him over the top. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And have a happy April Fool's Day. Hey 
guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!